let's go to James chapter 4 verses or verse 3 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible okay ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust so what does amiss mean this word here let me highlight it let's make it blue so let's look it up come on not quite right inappropriate or out of place so this is saying what you are asking for is wrong it may be even sinful around a certain time period I was watching this cartoon or TV show I forget I believe it was a cartoon and this guy was trying to rob the bank and he was praying to God asking God to crack open the safe <laughs> <laughs> he is asking amiss God is not going to do something like that that is sinful and some people may be praying to God asking him so you can win the lottery or something like that god give me the correct lottery ticket god is not going to do that gambling is wrong if you did not know that ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss you are asking in the wrong way or you are asking for the wrong things. Another example. God. <laughs> let me say this. Let me say it in another way. Back when I was younger. I would hear about kids. You know, when you are a kid, you don't like to be disciplined. So if you get spanked by your mom or dad or something, you really don't like that. So from what I heard before, some kids would ask, God to kill off their parents or mom or something like that. <laughs> you are asking amiss. <laughs> God is not going to kill your parents because they disciplined you. <laughs> Unless, well, let me keep it at that. What is another example? God, I know that woman is married, but her husband is not treating her right. So since he does not appreciate his wife, I want her. You should let us marry while they are married. You are asking amiss. God is not going to grant your prayer. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. You are asking for the wrong things. God, give me one trillion dollars so I can buy homes, clothes, cars, 
everything for me so I can show people that I made it and you need to get like me and stuff like that. No, you are asking amiss. You are asking in the wrong way. I mean, you are asking for the wrong things. Okay, you, ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. Now, when some people see the word lust, the first thing that comes to their mind is something sexual. And that is not a wrong definition for lust. But in some places in the Bible, including this place here, it is speaking about something else as well. If you place things in context. So in some places, when they use the word lust in the Bible, it is speaking about coveting, covet. So actually, let's look up the word lust first. So lust, a passionate or overmastering desire or craving. Okay, now let's look up the word covet. Because lust can mean more than one thing. Covet, to desire wrongfully, inordinately, or without due regard for the rights of others. Hey, I know that is your wife, but she likes me more than you, so I am going to take her. No, that is wrong. That is coveting. You are not supposed to covet a person's wife. You are not supposed to covet a person's husband. Hey, that person really has a nice car. I don't want a car like his. I want his car. That is coveting. It is not wrong to want a new car. It is not wrong to want a new house. It is not wrong to want new clothes and shoes, so on and so on. It is not wrong to desire things. But when it gets to the point where you want to take things from <laughs> take things from others or want things to show off or to shame others, that is wrong. Wanting things is not wrong. I want a 2017 Toyota Camry. I want that. Dark blue. My favorite color is blue. <laughs> it is not wrong for me to want that. But if I see a person that has a very nice Camry that has rims and stuff like that, and I say, hey, I deserve that car more than him. That is coveting. That is wrong. That is evil. That is a sin. So why aren't your prayers being answered? Well, first, you have to repent of your sins. Why do you say that, Kevin? Why do you always say, repent, repent, repent? Well, let's go to John 9 and 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So what this is saying, God is not going to consider your prayer unless you have repented and God is only going to consider your prayer when you have repented and when you are following his rules and regulations. 
So this is why I tell people, and this is what I do myself before I pray, even if I believe I did everything right, I am still going to repent anyways because I don't want my prayers to be hindered. I want my prayers to go all the way up to God, not go up and then boom, <laughs> slap right down to the ground. I don't want that. I don't want my prayers hindered. So repent before you pray. Repent before you pray. Repent before you pray. Always remember that. Because if you don't do that, it is not going to work for you. So repent. Don't ask anything amiss or asking amiss. Where is amiss? So don't ask amiss and don't covet. Of course you need faith and stuff like that, but these may be some of the reasons why your prayers are not being answered because you are asking amiss. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.